Come with me and let me show you one of our recruiting members, Clarence Thomas, who changed his recruiting niche because it just was not firing off on all cylinders. He realized he was in a slow industry, blockchain and cryptocurrency. So he switched niches three months into starting his recruiting business, which is okay to do. And he was able to secure a new client and new search within 14 days and seven hours. I'm gonna show you the niche that he chose I'm gonna show you exactly what he did to get this new recruiting client, and you can copy exactly what Clarence did as soon as today and get the same result. Let's go ahead and take a look. I wanna walk you through the precise steps that our member Clarence Thomas took to get a new recruiting client and search in just 14 days from switching his recruiting niche from blockchain cryptocurrency to supply chain. Now, let me start by saying, when you're thinking about going into a recruiting niche or possibly switching, it's important to think about what you know best. Go back, rewind the clock, and think about your skill set. Think about your connections. Is there a specific industry that you know really well? You have contacts, the word tracks, you understand the lingo. That's a great place to start. And that's exactly what Clarence did. He didn't start doing this, but he realized that was the better direction to move towards. So Clarence was in the military for over 20 years overseas and did supply chain and logistics. So he had a lot of background in this industry, which made it an easy transition for him to get into the civilian space and start talking to clients and connecting with clients using these LinkedIn strategies. So the second thing Clarence did when he made up his mind to switch into supply chain management was to go ahead and completely change his banner. He went ahead and optimized his LinkedIn profile in a different format to target supply chain clients and candidates. Here is the banner that he created, very specific to the point. There's no guessing to what Clarence does within his recruiting niche. He went ahead and changed his headline to specializing in supply chain executive search 20 plus year supply chain, as you can see. That is gonna be the second step after you realize and decide what niche you wanna go into. Moving right along, the third step that Clarence took was he went over into Google and he simply typed in top supply chain thought leaders. So whatever niche you are thinking about getting into while you're watching this video, do this same thing. Go into Google and type in the thought leaders, the top 10 thought leaders within your niche. Maybe it's medical, maybe it's IT, maybe it's logistics, whatever it is, go ahead and type that in. And that's gonna give you some people that are very influential within that niche. What you then want to do is take each of these names and go back into your LinkedIn account and type them in. Then what you're gonna do is click on their name and send them a connection request. Now, here is what your connection request message should say. Hi, first name, huge fan of yours. Congrats on being named a top 10 influencer by Supply Chain Digital. Clarence took all 10 names over here, sent that same message to each of them and was 10 for 10 for connection requests. 100% acceptance conversion with his LinkedIn invitations. Pretty phenomenal. You can expect to get the same results when you follow this system and format. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and think about what you know best for your recruiting niche. You're gonna optimize your LinkedIn profile with a banner and a very compelling headline that's specific to your recruiting niche. You're gonna go into Google and type in the top 10 influencers within your recruiting niche. Then you're gonna connect with each of those people with that first degree connection message. Then what you're gonna do is go to each of their pages and you're gonna scroll down to activity and you're gonna click on show all post. And what I want you to do is go ahead and pick a post that they have put out here on LinkedIn and comment on it, right? So start engaging in their content. You can look at this, you can go to chat GPT and paste this into it and ask chat GP to give you a compelling response here. Bottom line is you wanna like it, you wanna comment, you wanna ask questions. That is the best way to get your network going within LinkedIn for these influencers to see your content going forward and for you to recognize yourself and start creating clout within this platform. All right, the next thing I want you to do is go out to YouTube and start looking for the top podcasters within your recruiting niche. So for this example, 
we'll type in supply chain management. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and pick one of these influencers who are doing podcasts within your recruiting niche, go back into LinkedIn, look up their name, connect with them. And then this is the message that I want you to send these podcasters. Hi, first name. I've been listening to your Let's Talk Supply Chain podcast nonstop. Amazing value here. Thank you. That's exactly what you want to write. Whatever recruiting niche you're going to pick, copy this format and get those messages out there and start networking with the top influencers who are doing podcasts because they're going to have an incredible following of possible clients and candidates that you can start building and fostering relationships with. Okay, the second to last step that I want you to take is go ahead into LinkedIn and do a hashtag your keyword for your niche. So in this case, we'll do hashtag supply change management. Then I want you to scroll down and look at all of the posts that people have written regarding that hashtag. Again, these are people who could be influencers within your niche. Start engaging with them, start writing comments and start asking questions. This will help you build your network further and you can become a household name within your recruiting niche. This is exactly what Clarence did to get a requisition in less than 15 days. And the final thing that I want you to do is go ahead and type in supply chain management or whatever your keyword is for your niche, hit enter. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on the jobs tab once this loads up. And I want you to go through these jobs and see who's hiring, research these companies. So for this example, let's go ahead and click on senior account manager at Stalwart Insurance. The example would be, here is the CEO of this company, Aaron Gander. Go ahead and connect with Aaron and send Aaron a message. Now, what you should be doing is getting LinkedIn Sales Navigator. This is gonna cost you $79 a month if you use your mobile app. There's a little hack for you. You can save $20 a month versus using your desktop computer. So once you see who the hiring manager is, in this case, it's the actual CEO, which is fantastic. I would get a message out to them. But in most instances, they're not going to give you the, maybe the stakeholder or the person who's hiring. It could be an HR rep, but all you simply want to do is go ahead and get this company name, Stalwart Insurance, jump into your sales navigator account. Let's go ahead and type that in. It should auto populate here. There we are. And what Sales Navigator will do, it gives you the answers to the test and the shortcut. So this button right here, Decision Makers, is money. Go ahead and click that and here you go, guys. Here are your top decision makers, people who can sign the checks and make decisions. You wanna connect with all of these people right here and you wanna send them in-mail messages. So when you have Sales Navigator for $79 a month, you get over 100 in-mails. These are messages that you can send directly to these decision makers without waiting for their first degree acceptance. It's well worth the money, worth the investment. And you want to go ahead and get a message out to each and every one of these decision makers, letting them know that you understand they're hiring for X, Y, and Z. This is how you can help them. This is what you know, et cetera. And this will get you responses. There you have it, guys. Follow that exact process and system to get a new recruiting client in less than 15 days, just like Clarence did with Recruiting Me. If you like what you saw here, guys, go ahead and smash the like button. It really helps me. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Below, there's a link for you to schedule a call with me to learn more about Recruiting Me, how we can help you grow and start your recruiting business, get new clients, source candidates. Happy hunting, everybody.